Yes, a very special guest. We're so excited to have him here, and it's all in honor of a special event that's happening today at Seattle's Museum of Flight. A special agent will talk about the search for missing moon rocks. Joe Goodheinz joins us now. Good morning, Joe. Well, I'm glad to be here. Good morning to you. This is one of those stories that you hear about, and I just cannot get enough of it because I find it so fascinating. An undercover mission called Operation Lunar Eclipse. How did, before we get into the mission and the search, how did moon rocks go missing to well, begin with? Well, first of all, what I was looking for were people selling bogus moon rocks. Wow. And I was not even aware at that point that there were missing moon rocks. Uh, since 1969, with the return of Apollo 11, people have been selling bogus moon rocks. And so we had an undercover sting operation. We put an ad in uh, USA Today, moon rocks wanted, expecting someone to try to sell us a bogus moon rock. And what we got was something that looked very much like this. And this moon rock, uh, this is a replica, but this moon rock was offered to me for $5 million. $5 million? $5 million. <gasps> and I checked with our NASA personnel, the Lunar Curator's office and so forth, and they said, yeah, $5 million for something that nobody is permitted to own is reasonable. And so the, the next thing you know, we got a two-month sting operation trying to get back this moon rock. Uh, it brought us to Miami. It, it uh, enlisted the help of H. Ross Perot, the billionaire that put up the five billion. And after two months, and for the first time in history, we got a moon rock back. Oh my God, how do you validate that it is indeed a moon rock? Geologists, our lunar curator's office examined it for about two months, concluded that it was in fact the Honduras Goodwill Moon Rock. And so uh, the real thing. And what you need to know is that President Nixon gave 135 Apollo 11 moon rocks away to the nations of the world and the same number of Apollo 17. And now 156 of those are either missing or destroy. So your mission continues. It continues. 78 of them have been found with the help of my students. And tell us about the event that's happening at the Museum of Flight today. Uh, it's, it's exciting. Uh, Destination Moon is really something that a lot of people all over the country know about. They have uh, the Apollo 11 capsule there and so forth. And I'm happy to be part of it. And I will give a speech talking about missing moon rocks. And I would hope you will come back as the mission continues and hopefully you'll find more of them. I, I hope I did. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate well, it. Thank you very so much. So nice to meet you. Nice meeting so you. So good, Heinz. And again, Museum of Flight in Seattle this afternoon, a fantastic event. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.